officer in the Ukrainian army. He said pro-Russian forces will retreat after defeat and leave white ribbons for the next wave to follow. But while Ukrainian authorities focus on Russian losses, Ukrainian deaths and injuries pile up as well. Civilians who remain in the region live in constant fear without heating and electricity, Kirilenko said in televised remarks. Their enemy is not only Russian cannons but also the cold. Russia needs a victory in Bakhmut given it is losing control over large swaths of the northeastern region of Kharkiv to a Ukrainian counteroffensive last month and its deteriorating position in Kherson. The areas were among the first the Russian military captured after the February 24 invasion of Ukraine, in order to appease domestic critics and convince the Russian public that the war is still on track, Russia needs the appearance of an offensive triumph, according to Samuel Romani, an associate fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, a defense and security think tank with offices in London. The Wagner Group has played a prominent role in the war, and human rights organizations have accused its soldiers for hire of committing atrocities. Their deployment around Bakhmut reflects the city's strategic importance to Moscow. However, it's unclear if the mercenaries have made many tangible gains, according to Romani, we're seeing a situation where the Wagner Group is quite effective at creating terror amongst the local residents but much less effective at actually capturing and holding territory, he said. At the very best they're gaining one kilometer, 0.6 mile, a week toward Bakhmut, he said, while in the city this week. Journalists from the Associated Press saw burned-out cars, destroyed buildings, and people struggling to survive amid a cacophony of constant shelling, Bakhmut has been without electricity or water for a month, and residents worry about heating their homes as temperatures drop. We hope that this war would end or that we would have conditions that allow us to live. But since last month, conditions have been terrible, resident Leonid Tarasov said, Bakhmut had a population of about 73,000 people before the war, but approximately 90% have left the city, according to Kirilenko, the Donetsk region's governor, according to Roman Zylenkov, a volunteer with the neighborhood aid organization Vostok SOS. Some of the people still there have recently requested to be evacuated from places that are now too dangerous for volunteers or military to access because of the conflict. People who left moved to stay with their children or brothers and sisters. They had places to go, Ilona Yaralieva said as she mixed soup on an open fire by the side of the road. But as for us, we don't have a place to go. That's why we are here.